events coming up uh, down the track that has everyone on the coast very excited, uh, particularly the Indigenous community, is the 2015 Men's Health Gathering, incorporating the 8th Aboriginal Men's Health Conference and the 11th Australian Men's Health uh, Conference. Uh, the event will represent the first time in more than 200 years that so many mobs, so many Indigenous groups will come together to celebrate Aboriginal culture. There are more than 30 uh, mobs from the, uh, the whole country coming to the coast, um, just from New South Wales alone, 30 mobs. And, and this event has been held in Sydney, but never outside of Sydney, but held in ever, other states. So it's a great opportunity for our um, people here on the coast to uh, show off uh, this, this great area. Stuart McMinn is a local bloke and also an Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander uh, person, uh, liaison officer with Interrelate Central Coast, who do wonderful work and uh, joins us in the studio. G'day, Stuart. How are you, mate? Good yeah. to see you. Thank yeah. Scott. This is a big event, isn't it? This this one coming what, in November, October? October. October 20 through to the 23rd. I should uh, know. I think I'm doing a bit of comparing for a few events. So. I, I believe so, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, held at Terrigal Foreshore um, at Crown Plaza. So it's... Uh, it's been a lot of work, a lot of work, but we're getting there finally, which is nice. And would you, because I know you've got a real interest in, in the Indigenous Trail in our hinterland and, and the, the rock art and the heritage and the bush tucker and the dance. Are you going to be um, doing a bit of cultural um, tourism with them? I, I certainly am. One of the highlights of the conference is basically taking um, our delegates out on the country and to show the delegates the country and the sites and, and also talk about the significance of Aboriginal spirituality but also more importantly on those sites talking about the connection between our youth and men and the health that our men needed to carry traditionally and, and the foods and things like that that we use to keep a healthy lifestyle going. So people running the site tours are people like uh, Uncle Gabby Duncan um, from from Dark and Young and now works at Barra Bering up at uh, Green Central there. So we've, we've got a great array of people coming to, to show these sites and, and of, you know basically show off our culture mm. a little bit. And you're hitting on something interesting there, isn't it? A, a generational change where we're seeing that. I um, mean, you've got that in your family. We've got that in many Indigenous families here on the coast. They're, they're here for a better start, better education, better health. Um, it's all coming together, isn't it? 100%. And that's why the gathering is just so important because it's basically our men uh, are needing to start really looking after themselves. We all know the mortality rates for Aboriginal men um, and even men in general are, are a lot less than our ladies. And uh, it's important that if men don't start looking after themselves and you know really looking after their health in, in all facets of the word, not just um, physical health but mental health and, and well-being, then we're going to really have um, some issues in the future. So let's try and gather together to sort that out and share the knowledge between one another. Interrelate's been going for a long time, hasn't it? I didn't realise what a, what a job it's done over many, many years in the community. It, it has and they are kind of looking at, you know, our our, our slogan is relationship experts because we've worked with relationships for a very long time now and I believe that um, that's really kicking off now in an Indigenous area as well which is so important for our people. So interrelated, definitely um, working really hard to, to ensure relationships are going strong within our families, you know, and, and big supporters of the men's health gathering and ensuring that our, our men in particular are, are really stepping up and, and looking after themselves to ensure that uh, we have better futures, as I said. Do you think that um, some of the other Indigenous groups coming, the medical centres from all around Australia, so we're talking about leaders in communities from the far northwest to Tasmania to the tip of Cape York and, and Torres Strait, aren't we? We're talking about people who are making a difference in their local communities through through better health outcomes. Will they know about the richness of, of rock art? I mean, just at the etchings track at Mossman in the, the heart of the, the wealthiest suburb in Sydney, you've got a huge area there right next to a main road, just full of big... Um, 
uh, rock, rock art. I mean, huge rock art site. Um, and it's, it's all more so through the Central Coast, and we've got tons of it, haven't we? Uh, on the coast, we definitely, there's, um, there's over 5,000 recorded sites, and one of the things that came from the National Advisory Committee is um, they basically, the Aboriginal men wanted to make sure we got on the country and were introduced to country, and, and they're really excited. And as you said, these are men that are experts in their area. Um, they've been working in health for many, many years now, um, and, and they're really excited to actually bring the knowledge together, and that's why we've called the theme of the conference Sharing the Knowledge, because uh, we've for the first time crossed over both conferences, so uh, everybody from the conference, both Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal, will be attending the site um, and sharing that knowledge with each other, which I believe needs to start happening, you know, where, where we've got wisdom that's 75,000 years old uh, and also a strong Western knowledge on, on men's health and well-being and making sure we share the knowledge between one another and walk hand in hand rather than sit separately from one another. So another really great highlight is the corroboree that's happening and we're, we're hosting a corroboree um, uh, around uh, Terrigal and basically we'll have um, dance groups coming from all over the country from the top end right down to Victoria. And that's a really important thing because it's actually celebrating our culture mm-hmm. and celebrating what Aboriginal Australia have given to the, the greater Australia over the last, you know, 75,000 years. So I think it's going to be a massive highlight for people to come. And it's not just open to conference delegates. It's also open to the greater community. So we'll be announcing where that corroboree is going to be held, uh, hopefully over the next few weeks. But at the moment, we're just uh, holding off and, until we few, um, sort a few logistical uh, issues. And you've um, founded a dance group locally, haven't you? Uh, Tell us about the significance of dance uh, in Indigenous culture. Um Dance to our people is is a lot. It's our songs, our stories, and and the dance actually tells the stories of our our past, but also the future. Dance now is about teaching people about our culture. It's a great forum to do so, especially with youth, because they get to see this lovely, vibrant culture, but also get to uh, interact and share with it rather than sit on an outside and not understand it. So we use it to tell our stories and also new stories. So we've got songs and dances about the first trains coming through country or, you know, the, the telegraph poles going up. We, we've got rock art uh, that, that really uh, inspired Spike Milligan, haven't we, of, of, a, of a, a square rigger coming in and the local people here sat up on the hill, saw it and drew it on the rock. Uh, it was, that would have been an incredible uh, uh, thing to see uh, living, living here in harmony with the, with the earth and all of a sudden this, this thing uh, comes into your into your broken bay sort of thing. <laughs> it, it definitely would have been an interesting sight, but you're right. Uh, we we carve those stories in into our rock art because they're all part of our dreaming and, and our history, and it's not just Aboriginal history. That's the beauty of it is that this history is, is 75,000 years old, but it's something that we share with all of Australia, not just with our people, and that's really important. You know? There are even dugong that used to... Um, feed on the seagrass in Brisbane water and, and pictures of them on the rocks up up above Brisbane water and you think, oh, they must have been, you know, that's maybe before that, that last ice age sea level rise of 6,000 years ago when the, the water came up and, and uh, stories about, you know, walking on Lake Macquarie and now it's full of, you know, they, they've seen so much. It's in in the rocks here, isn't it? it? It really is, and you know that's that's why we want to share it as part of the conference and show people because it's the history here is phenomenal. The actual first Australian crawl was seen in Brisbane waters, and that's now our freestyle dance, and and that was from when the longboats were coming in. A couple of young girls were fishing, and they saw the longboats, and they freaked out a little bit so they dived in the water and it's written in Philip's diary that the 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 girls actually sped across the top of the water like um, they swam yeah yeah and, and they'd, they'd never seen that style of swimming never before. seen it before and that's yeah. now known as the Australian wow. or what was known as the Australian what a good yeah. story this is just great stuff isn't it I mean just for you and Gavi and all the other 
Indigenous people to get into the bush and and tell these stories. That's that's our museum. That's that's our tourist draw card, isn't it? Yeah, hundred percent. And we're really encouraging people to apply, you know, and, and to come to the conference. And and if you do want to come to the conference, go to www.workingwithmen.org.au and and register. Uh, I think the the stage is set for it to be a really great gathering and for everybody to really enjoy um, sharing the knowledge with one another so, and it is with, with people like Mingaletta, Dark and Young the support um, coming from our Aboriginal organisations but also our non-Aboriginal organisations is, is going to be great you know and I think people are really excited for it. Is it exciting also to see people coming through um, our, our local university Newcastle Uni and then going into our local Indigenous Health Services. Uh, I spoke to one of the elders whose son had just graduated in podiatry. A lot of work needs to be done uh, in diabetes uh, care with, sadly, um, Indigenous people overrepresented again. Um, you know, that that's pretty exciting, isn't it, that, that um, Indigenous people, not that they have to do that, but are, are taking that career path. 100%. I, I think the more that we get Aboriginal youth um, and people in general into higher education or even tertiary education is, is really important. It sets our people up um, for for the future and also our youth up for the future. So we're starting what um, non-Indigenous people have had for a couple hundred years at least is, is when you go to university, your children are more likely to do that. So when you go on the tertiary education uh, and without that we wouldn't have men's health and well-being than what we've got now it's it's basically a stepping stone into ensuring our youth look after all facets of their well-being and also um, go on to something bigger and better um, hopefully bigger and better than we did in in our past mate oh, I think so I think that I'm very impressed with the youth of the day they're, they're incredible it's uh, 6 to 9 92.5 ABC Central Coast Stuart McMinn is our guest Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander liaison officer with Interrelate Central Coast and also very keen on uh, preserving culture and heritage, Indigenous culture and heritage here on, on the coast. Uh, founder of a, a great dance group too, McMinn Dancers, uh, in, back in 2006, who are, are absolutely brilliant with their, their cultural and uh, contemporary dance too. And uh, of course we've got Nasda here who are churning out marvellous uh, dancers and, and great young, hard-working Indigenous people. Now um, I'm, go I'm going to play a song we've been featuring songs uh, from Gurumul and, and uh, traditional songs, contemporary songs. This is one from the, the movie The Sapphires about a, a troop of uh, Aboriginal girls who went to, uh, to Vietnam to uh, entertain the troops. You've got a, a family connection to that story too, haven't you? Certainly do, yeah. Your dear, dear dad at Woi Woi. Yes, yeah, dad, dad spent a lot of time in the Navy um, fighting for the country, 28 years actually, so that's that's phenomenal. He's um, a brilliant man, he's done a lot of work there. So, um, made he was it. over there too, wasn't he? Yeah. He certainly was, um, in Vietnam, um, and uh, quite a lot of, of various things that we never got reported on, so uh, a lot of stuff that never happened uh, yeah, right. in he, his history. He was in there too... Um you know, at a time when Indigenous people were, were fighting for recognition and um, and all the rest. So he was certainly breaking down some barriers. 100%. Uh, fighting for his country as flora and fauna, mate. And, uh, you know, but was still just as proud to, to be representing Australia and, and still is. He, he, he was a big believer in the services and what it did for him and what it did for my family in the long run as well. Mm. What did you think of the Sapphires as a story? I thought it was brilliant. Um, I, I love just hearing any story from our history but for for um, young Aboriginal women to travel over there and especially in the war-torn country. And in that time, you know, yeah. with, with the racism that was pretty entrenched back back here. Yeah, I, I think it's a beautiful story and, and you know, the, the depiction of it through the Sapphires movie was, was brilliant. So, no, I loved it. We'll have lots of chats, Stuart, I'm sure, and we're going to meet some really great people from around uh, Australia to Indigenous people uh, with the Men's Health uh, Gathering Corroboree uh, coming up and the... Um, Indigenous Health Conference too, that all the, the local um, community-based uh, Aboriginal health clinics coming. Uh, that, that's going to be really interesting, isn't it? I, I think it's going to be great. Uh, it's going to be a great show of our people and it's also going to um, assist better outcomes for men's health and, and more particularly my area, Aboriginal men's health. You yeah. know, and hopefully we can start closing the gap from our mortality rates.
All right, let's go out on the Sapphires to finish up uh, NAIDOC week this week. Thanks, Stuart. Thanks for coming in. Uh, thanks, Scott. Thanks for having me.